Last night, as soon as we knew the two teams that were headed to the Super Bowl, the headline all over social media was, it would be the first Super Bowl among teams from states that had voted to legalize recreational use of marijuana, in this case, Washington State and Colorado. It has been slowly trending that way in some places, and because it's been in the news, the New Yorker magazine asked President Obama about it during an interview, and his answer on it is making news. Our report tonight from our chief White House correspondent, Chuck Todd. Legalization of marijuana in Colorado and Washington is sparking a national debate. People like me, just regular everyday moms, probably will give it a try. And now even the president has weighed in, telling the New Yorker magazine, I don't think it is more dangerous than alcohol. But the president is not exactly condoning its use either, even though he's tried it. Here's how he views it. As a bad habit and a vice, not very different from the cigarettes that I smoked as a young person up through a big chunk of my adult life. But as a father, the president has his limits. And I've told my daughters, I think it's a bad idea, a waste of time, not very healthy. But Mr. Obama's live and let live attitude is in stark contrast to past White House positions on the drug. Who's talking about Mrs. Reagan? In the 80s, Nancy Reagan appeared in a popular sitcom to boost her Just Say No campaign. I'm concerned about drug abuse. Later in that decade, marijuana use torpedoed one of Ronald Reagan's Supreme Court picks, Douglas Ginsburg. By the early 90s, as the baby boomers started to come of age, admitting to smoking a joint didn't necessarily snuff out someone's political future. I experimented with marijuana a time or two, and I didn't like it and didn't inhale. It's been a long journey. In 1969, 84% of Americans were against legalization of marijuana. Today, 58% are in favor, and the president may have just helped that number grow. And if president says marijuana is no more dangerous than alcohol, that's going to affect a lot of people, could change history. But General Barry McCaffrey, who ran the Clinton White House Office of National Drug Control Policy, says legalization is a bad idea. Early onset exposure to marijuana, to ecstasy, to beer consumption is a pathway to a lifetime of addiction. The question now, how will the president's comments impact the debate? Chuck Todd, NBC News, Washington.